The mission of Meta is to improve the economic condition of Latino families in the mission and in San Francisco. For the first 40 years of our existence, we were focused primarily on asset building, so helping small businesses get started, helping families develop saving plans, helping them do their taxes. But a little over 10 years ago, we got a Promise Neighborhood grant. We started partnering closely with schools and early learning centers and with multiple community-based organizations. Back in 1999, 2000, Meta was serving about 100 people per year. Now we're serving over 17,000. A big part of our work is making sure that we have a community that supports not only the children, but the parents and their economic dreams. So not only are we in the schools and the early learning centers providing wraparound support services such as academic enrichment, mental health services, access to a health clinic, etc. We also attempt to build wealth through small business loans to stores that have been working with the immigrant community for generations. So we help them to stay in place. We help new ones to get started. We also work at the housing level. So when we got our Promise Neighborhood grant, the highest priority for everybody that we talked to was affordable housing. We know that kids cannot do well in school if they're being threatened with eviction, if they don't have a place to live. We need it to create a strong housing strategy. So in the last five years, we purchased over 40 buildings. This building here, there are seven apartments in the building, all affordable. Um, and the uh, ground floor, Chelly's, is also a business client of ours, someone who received a small business loan to get her business started. We've also worked very closely with the city and philanthropy to build new buildings. This is one of our newest high rises. There are 126 units of affordable housing. Right now, we have a portfolio of about 2,500 housing units in this neighborhood. All are affordable units. Since we've started this initiative, we've seen the graduation rate go up to 90% from a starting point of 67%. We've doubled the number of early learning slots in this neighborhood. We saw the rate of families having a medical home. That's gone up from 60% to 80%. We have four more buildings in the pipeline that are gonna bring hundreds of new units of housing into this neighborhood. This building is gonna be renovated into a high rise that will have 63 units of affordable housing for teachers. An exciting win this year is that the governor allocated money for California Promise neighborhoods in the state budget, $1 million per year over the next three years. The other big win is that the city is partnering with us on expanding the Promise neighborhood model into three new neighborhoods. We're calling this the Promise City Initiative. We've seen what can happen when you combine a cradle to career approach with a broader community development approach that includes small business and housing. This is part of thinking about Promise Neighborhood, not as a isolated initiative, but a, a comprehensive strategy that is focused on these families to achieve things beyond academic achievement. It's a really comprehensive anti-poverty initiative. Place-based work, it's the way to go.